Hello team. From the beginning of this pandemic almost two years ago, we have said that we will follow the appropriate scientific and medical guidance when we make decisions at Idaho State University. The United States Centers for Disease Control are the world's experts in infectious diseases. We have followed CDC guidance and implemented our campus protocols accordingly. Just a short time ago, the CDC issued new guidance regarding indoor masks. So first, let me apologize that this news is coming to you late on a Friday. But as I said, the CDC just this afternoon updated their medical guidance. And this is good news. It means we are seeing significant improvement in the case numbers. And based on the metrics and the scientific data provided by the CDC, for our campuses in Pocatello, Idaho Falls, and Anchorage, the requirement for wearing a mask is no longer scientifically recommended. However, for our campuses in Twin Falls and Meridian, the CDC still recommends wearing masks indoors. In order to ensure our faculty and staff have the time to make any needed preparations, beginning Wednesday, March 2nd, masks will no longer be required on the Pocatello, Idaho Falls, and Anchorage campuses. The mask requirement will continue to be in place in Meridian and in Twin Falls. And as we move forward, we will continue to monitor the CDC-approved metrics for Meridian and Twin Falls and for all of our campuses. Please keep in mind that the metrics could change for any of our campuses in the future. We all need to be prepared to do what is necessary if there is another surge in the spread of this disease. If so, we will have the resolve to do the right thing again in the future. And any individual that wishes for their own self-protection to wear a mask can and should do so. I also continue to encourage you to get vaccinated as your best source of individual protection. For two years, we have remained united as a university. Idaho State University has withstood a worldwide pandemic and continued our mission of educating our students and providing our society with new knowledge. That unitedness will not change now. We will continue to respect one another. We will continue to give each other grace and compassion as our campus community perseveres through these times. We have been together from the start and we will continue to be together in our future, our collective future. Please read the attached email for the details regarding the current COVID protocols. And once again, let me thank all of you each and every one of you in our Bengal family for all that you do to help us accomplish our mission. And we will talk again soon.